This video will cover the sheet metal part, closed corner, round, and corner chamfer tools. Closed corner. This tool will close the corners of two flanges that are next to each other. There are three different options for this. Overhang, butt, and underhang. Since this is a feature, when it is added, it will be listed in the Design Explorer. You can see in the preview of each closed corner how each option is different from the others. When using this tool, you only need to select on a single edge. A Libre Design will detect the opposite edge that will be used in the creation of the closed corner feature. Here is an example of the overhang option. This is an example of the butt option. And this is an example of the underhang option. Round and corner chamfer. These tools are similar to the features in the 3D modeling module. They are intended to be used to take the sharp corners off parts. To use them, simply select the edges of the part that you want to make round, input the value you need, and click the OK button. If multiple edges have the same radius, they can all be selected at once, and they will all be part of the same feature in the Design Explorer. The round and corner chamfer are only intended to be used at the ends of the flange, not the horizontal lines. If you did need to chamfer or round this edge, the easiest and quickest way is to use the part modeling chamfer or fillet tools. This video covered the sheet metal part closed corner, round, and corner chamfer tools. The closed corner tool will close the corners of two flanges that are next to each other. The round and corner chamfer tools are similar to the features in the 3D modeling module. They are intended to be used to take the sharp corners off parts.